Hey, what's up, guys? RC Hobby Steve here. I'm back with another video. Got some parts that I picked up from my local hobby store, Turn for Hobby Town. Um, picked up some parts that I believe should be the final pieces to my Jeep. I might be purchasing some um, Knights Custom parts for my Jeep just to complete the outer look of it but for like the inside and whatever um, I believe this is what's going to complete it so I have here um, some stuff I'm going to show you of uh, what I got today for the Jeep today being Wednesday July 20th that I'm doing the video so if you follow me on Instagram you'll know that I um, posted a video showing the receipt of how much everything came out to so the prices are on this so you'll see how much everything came out to alright the first thing being I'm going to start with the cheapest things in this bag so that being uh, let's see I bought some fans just to keep some things cool in my truck so I bought a this is a cooling fan from a company that I have no clue um, I don't know anything about them but it was small enough to fit on my ESC so I'll be putting this on backwards to remove the heat or I'll be putting it on forwards to um, add some cool air to the ESC just to keep it cool and I bought another one from Hot Racing this is a clip on motor heat sink with a fan in black so if you need the part number for this there's the part number um, this will be clipping onto my motor I'm going to be moving the fan sideways so that air can hit the, um, the motor and if you pull it down I also got another pinion gear. It's a 32 pitch 16 tooth pinion gear. Um, the reason I got this was because I bought another motor. I know I, I had purchased a 45 turn motor. It wasn't going so well for me, so I had switched it back to the. Um, I switched the motor back to the 27 turn motor that it came with. And I decided to get a 35 turn motor. This was $12.99. Um, so yeah, there's a 35 turn motor. I'm going to see how this goes. Supposedly, if I use this pinion gear, I'm supposed to get a decent amount of speed. Not as fast as the motor is now, but decent. So that was $12.99. This was $12.99, $4.95. Um, this fan was $10.99. I also got some... 3 by 30 millimeter um, hex screws, six pieces, 275 just for the, um, just for whatever I need screws for. I purchased some springs because I bought the Traxxas shocks. These are the aluminum ones. These are aluminum ones. These are the big bore shocks, extra long, hard anodized, and Teflon coated. These are assembled. All I need to do is put some springs in it. So that's why I got these. Since I do have the front shocks, the rear shocks in the front of my SCX10 from the Slash, I decided to get the other pack just to see how it'll um, act in the rear. Um, so yeah, these are the 90 mil millimeters. So they're a little bit longer than the stock shocks. So I plan on putting this on. Then I bought a brand new bumper because I was getting really, really tired of the bumper that I had on. This is the Tough Armor RC 4-Wheel Drive Competition Stinger Bumper um, to fit Axio SCX10. So this was $40. And there's the bumper right there. I fell in love with this bumper when I saw it on a 1 to 1 scale Jeep. So I can't wait to get this on my Jeep. Next, we have the high lift jack from RC4 wheel drive. 
seriously can't wait to open this. This is $32.99, but well worth it because it, it worked. It's like a high lift jack. Should work. And my biggest purchase of today was the Savox waterproof servo. <clears throat> the part number is right there if you guys need it. This has um 2.208.3 ounces of torque. Um speed is 0 0.10 seconds. The weight is 71 grams. And the item number is there if you need it. Bam. So that's what I bought from the hobby shop, guys. I'm going to install this probably right now. I'm not sure. I'm definitely going to open up some of this stuff to check it out and place it. Um, this is probably going to go on the roof rack. I'm not sure yet. Probably put it. Excuse me. I just yawned. I'll probably put this in the front of the truck right here. But I'm still not sure yet truck is coming out along really well roof rack stuff is going good truck's been performing well so I'll be taking pictures of how everything's going if um, when I install certain stuff I'll try my best to record some video for you guys thanks for watching see you in the next one peace